Um, we will allow a few last words from individuals. Don't have to be questions, don't have to be things, just last words that you may wish to make. Yes. Thank you very much to all the speakers. Um, just a word of encouragement to Deepak Nair to write this out fully and formally as an academic paper. Thank you very much indeed. I would love to ask David to give us a bit deeper thinking if he's recognizing that Oxfam is actually part of the problem. How would it transfer itself or trans transition itself to be, become part of a, a new solution set? If okay, I heard you would, correctly. Would. So you have to have what they call, I think, systems thinking, where you have to understand that the, co the problem is not just a, about so a solution. It is, it is there because it's something extremely complex. So I think I was trying to make the point that uh, humanitarian, particularly looking just at the one like the one in Diffa, is an extremely complex environment. There's a multitude of problems going on there. There's a multitude of factors like cultural, social, international, military, economic, whatever you call it. But most actors are not have no understanding at that level. They are only focused on what they are particularly focused on. So like, we want to solve the water problem, but they don't understand that in solving the water problem, you might create a whole not another set of pro problems. And, and so until we start realizing that we're not the solution, that we are actually part of the problem, or even the problem, then you can't move on. So it's time that we had to move on. Sorry, that is my viewpoint <laughs> anyway. Yes. Thank you so much uh, for the talks. I really enjoyed the conference. And I would like to stress uh, more on the point Professor Deepak also mentioned, that it is more important for us also to concentrate on crisis prevention, because then we have to talk about how do we make governments accountable for, uh, for, being inact uh, for, for their inactions to prevent crisis. For example, the last, uh, in the last December, we had floods in Chennai, southernmost part of India, and the whole city was flooded, and it was complete inaction of the on the part of the government. But, the government. but how do we fix the accountability of the government for not preventing that crisis to happen? That's, I think that's very important. Thank you. I want to thank you all for being such an attentive audience, and I want you to give an applause to our panels, panelists for the presentation. And now I will take the liberty to um, invite uh, Professor, to, to Professor Tapp, Finn Tapp, the director of the UN Rider Institute, the man who has made all this happen, to have the real last word on this conference. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Uh, thanks to you, Ingrid, Depark, David, and Paul. Uh, for discussing and summing up so nicely uh, what we have learned the last two busy days and adding uh, some very careful thought as well to what has been going on. That was a great closing panel. Now, I, for one, um, will be taking home the following messages, or rather messages such as that we do need to break down the silos that get in the way of integrating, cross-cutting development thinking and action. And in this, we do need to reinforce our efforts to link up research and policy. The poor and vulnerable need action. They need a lot of action. So we must fight as hard as we possibly can the cynicism that seems so widespread in the world today at all levels. In other words, keep trying, and if that's not enough, try harder. Um, today, seven years ago, I, I made my statement, or my rather inaugural statement as, as, as Director Wider, and in that context, I reused a quote uh, from Scottish folk singer Donovan. I'd, I'd used it originally in my thesis back in 1978, so you, you can see that I'm becoming a bit older. Um, that statement, in that statement, uh, Donovan uh, had done sort of an album on children of the world. And he noted that some of us believe in analyzing, some of us believe in humanizing. Now at WIDA we believe in analyzing and we believe in humanizing. It is my hope um, that this conference will inspire all of us to think deeper and work harder to help 
Promote policymakers to take sensible action against the many crises that humankind is today facing. Amidst, I hasten to add, a richness that we have never seen before. We do see these crises unfolding amidst massive richness. The development job is very far from John. The conversation must continue, and so must the research for action, as Professor Amartya Sen reminded us in his wider annual lecture a year ago here in this very, very same building, and as Minister Gordon and Elizabeth Rain insisted. Uh, we've seen examples at this conference a wider research for action, and I mean, just one example, perspectives on sharing the Nile, is one of those examples of research for action that we pursue. Do follow us on our website for more on this project and many others. Now, in concluding, I, I would like to thank again um, the keynote speaker, Elizabeth Rain. Thanks as well to plenary panelists and chairs, session speakers and chairs, and to all of you from all around the world who have taken time to participate in this conference on responding to crisis. I would also like to highlight my very sincere thanks to the members of the wider team for putting together another good conference. Member of the wider team wearing these brown tags, you have all worked very hard over these past months. I'm grateful for everyone's contribution and I hope participants will join me in applauding you. Um, my children tell me, and my wife as well, that I don't seem to always know that I sometimes repeat myself. Um, I do know that I'm now repeating myself. Um, all participants will on Monday receive an email from you and your wider on which we ask for your feedback on this conference. Uh, we would be most grateful if you would take the time to fill in this form. Uh, this is actually critically important for us in our reporting. Um, and it is important in relation to donors who have limited budgets. Finally, I wish all of you safe travel back home and do continue to follow us uh, on our wider website um, and on Twitter. Uh, please take note of the fact as well that we have added OUP books now, most recently the Food Price Policy book by Per Pinstrup, to the freely available special journal issues, academic articles, and working papers that are easily downloadable from our website. Do follow us there and take the opportunity of downloading this material whenever it can be of use to you. Thank you all, and I would like now to invite all to refreshments upstairs in the UNU wider premises, and I do regret that my promise of a sun shining did not come through. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you.